Welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to dive into the new shot layout functionality in New Blue Captivate. This feature allows you to create dynamic shots and animations for your live broadcasts. Let's get started. To create a new shot, there are a couple of ways we can begin. The first method is by multi-selecting the graphics we want to use. For example, let's say we want to use two picture-in-picture -picture frames and a background. With all three graphics selected, we can click the Group into a Shot button. Great, and now a shot is created in the project, and it appears in the Shot Launcher. Clicking on it will play the shot on air, and clicking it again will bring it off air. Another way to create a new shot is by dragging and dropping an item into the Shot Launcher. This will automatically create a new shot, and you can add more graphics to it by dragging them in. If you need to make edits to a shot layout's properties, select the shot you want to modify in the project list. Now that we have some shots created, let's explore some options. By default, shots are played sequentially, but you can override this behavior. You can choose to have a shot play on top of others by unchecking the solo option. Shots that will play on top of others are denoted with a special badge. You can also assign color labels to shots for easy organization. Let's make our first shot blue and the second one violet. To further manage shots, you can use filters. Sort them by name or color, and even filter shots by color if you only want to see specific ones. Now let's explore the shot properties panel. Here you can set a particular camera source for the shot layout. If you have designated a switcher video, you can subsequently choose a transition and include or exclude various elements from the shot, such as graphics or backgrounds. Additionally, the shot control selection allows you to modify variables within a shot. This list represents all of the variables for each graphic in the shot. By default, all are set to disabled, which means that they will continue to display the current variable values when the shot is played. You can replace images or text and even change live video sources by selecting replace and then entering the desired value for the shot layout. Finally, let's see how these shots come together. I'll demonstrate by creating a duplicate version of my picture in picture layout, but I will swap the left frame for a bullet list and change which video source and name is used in my right picture in picture frame. And there you have it. With the new shot layout functionality in New Blue Captivate, you can create dynamic and engaging broadcasts. We're excited to see the creative new possibilities you can unlock with this feature. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.